All right, Shalom, Bracket to Yahweh, Bracket to Yahweh Shai, Bracket to Yahweh, Bracket to Yahweh Shai, Kal Halayim, La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kodash Raka, Shalom, Wabarakim, Babakarim. I just want to give all praises unto Yahweh in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, and peace and blessings to the elect of Israel, the 144. And, um, Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. All right. Um, this brothers are out again, man, with another lesson. And, you know, that's constantly exhorting the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You know, um, yesterday, out at camp, I um, had a couple, you know, um, issues, really. Really, just, just the, the weather was kind of very, um, um, I guess crazy for lack of a better term but it was strong winds out there and you know it, it blew kept blowing over the tripod you know actually smashed the um the the screen of one of my phones and then um i had to recharge that and then when i put the other one on i didn't have a charger for that one it was a you know one is the iphone one was an android so i didn't have the portable charger with for the android and it died you know eventually and then when i was trying to actually you know put the other one back on it didn't charge and honestly my hands were literally frozen so i couldn't even like i really couldn't do anything you know my my, my fingers was was sort of useless you know i couldn't turn anything i can i can barely even open the car though when i go back to the car so i mean but um hey man that's one of us to segue into this lesson you know, nothing's gonna stop this word out there. You know, I did get get um at least like an hour and, and, and I think like 25 or 30 minutes out there. You know, and if, if things were okay, I would have been out there even longer because the spirit was actually was actually moving. But um, I'll jump into this lesson, man, and I really just wanna wanna um you know go into you know how these people are here. They just they don't consider, they don't understand, they don't they don't see. You know the power of the Lord. You know really because they they're not of the Lord. All right. So it's the First John four and one. It says, "Beloved, believe that every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the Most High, because many false prophets are going out into the world, and that's what we got to do. We got to try the spirits, and how you try the spirits through the Scriptures. You filter everything through the Scriptures, and then you can determine whether who are the false prophets and who are not. Okay." And it's evident there are quite quite a few false prophets out there, you know, um, the top ones really being like Nate, Yohanna, and um, Bubble Eye, and these guys, you know. But there's others too, like those HODC um, clowns that just, you know, made the statements that they made about them being able to get spiritual powers over here in Babylon. Alright, so um, 4 and 2, it says, Hereby know ye the spirit of the Mosai. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is come in the flesh is of the, the heavenly father and every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is coming the flesh is not of God and is and this is that spirit of the Antichrist wherefore ye have heard that it should come and even now already is it in the world so the Antichrist has come and is in the world and that's a spirit you know it's not just you know some people thinking it's, it's one some big old like one demon that's going to come around and be like it's an Antichrist no, the Antichrist, that's a spirit that's pushed out into the world. Because there are some people who actually believe that the Messiah never walked. And even back then, you know, when you go through in the book of Acts, a lot of those, um, of a, the, the reason, one of the main reasons why they kill Yahweh Shai, because they, they didn't believe on him. They didn't believe that he was the Messiah, that he that was him that came back in the flesh. They didn't believe. So that was the spirit of Antichrist. And who were those people? A lot of those were our people, who today are, gonna, are the two-thirds who back then were the two thirds and who are today back in the reincarnation as the two thirds of Israel. All right, it says four and four. Ye are of the most high, little children, and have over and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. See, so the Lord, the spirit that the Lord has given his elect, is greater than these people's spirit in the world. It's greater than the spirit of these antichrists, man. Because all these people are here that are not, you know, in the truth. They're antichrists. You know, they're anti the, 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 the Savior. You know, if you're doing anything outside of um, anything profane, that's that's anti the doctrine. That's anti, you know, what Yahweh Shai stands for. You know, it says, 
um, 4 and 5. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world hear with them. Because, you know, somebody who's, like, these, these Christian churches are packed full, man. They're full, okay? And what are these people talking? They're saying, well, the law is done away with, we can do anything. And they hear that, and they clap that. They say, you know, it's okay for a man to get married to another man. And they hear that, and they clap for that. They say that it's okay for a woman to, to get a divorce, you know, and they say okay to that, and they clap that. They say it's okay for a woman to, to, um, to teach in the church, and they hear that. But if it, you say that around around men of true men of the Lord, man, that that songs, you know, that's comp that's sin, you know, and that's that's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit because nothing that I just gave an example of is in the Spirit of the Lord. But why do they hear it? Because once again, First John four and five, they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. Four and six, we are of the Most High. He that knoweth the Most High heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. And that's what we're, you know, through the the Rukak Wadash, you know, and Tawada for Yahweh Shai, and you know, and um, why Yahweh for giving us that gift of faith, and having the to have the ability now to to know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error, because it's a spiritual thing, you know, this is not a carnal thing. So we can assess through your spirit, you know, if you if you are of the Most High, if, if you're not, you know, and that's why. You know, certain when when men come around and they're listening and they're taking notes and they're soaking up the spirit, you can tell if a brother is gonna come in, you know, cross into the camp, or if he's not, or you can tell if this man is gonna disappear as soon as it gets cold, or if he's not. You can tell these things because the spirit bear witness with our spirit, man, and we can tell. And it's and 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 the, for the people that that listen, I may not understand. Hey, more than likely, if, if you can't understand or grasp this, you know, you're of the world. And you're and the Heavenly Father is not dealing with you. And it's really simple as that, you know. And I, I'll go to um, my next precept in John 8 and 1 to give an example, okay. And I'll start from um, 42. This is John 8 and 42. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, If, if um, God were your father, ye you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came forth from the Heavenly Father. Neither came I of myself, but He sent me. So, why do ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? So they could understand what Yahweh Shai was telling them. They could understand what when, when He would speak to them. You know, and, and even though Yahweh Shai spoke to them in parables, you know, it, it, because he already know, like he told the disciples, for it is not for them um, to hear these things, but what this, the mysteries of the, I'm roughly paraphrasing, you know, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven is, is for you. You know, so these things are not going to be understood by certain people. You know, that's why all these people come up against the men of the Lord, and they think they can, you know, put together 10 questions to ask Hebrew Israelites and, and all these different, you know, things. This they think they're coming up against us, but they're coming up against the heavenly Father. They're coming up against the Rakak Dash. They're coming up against a whole different power that they cannot see, understand, and it's all because the Most High set it up that way. Okay, so this is Yahweh Shai talking to um, the um, scribes and the Pharisees, and he's telling them, man, why don't you not even understand my speech, even because he cannot hear my word? Okay. Because he came from the Heavenly Father. He was the, the, the son of the Heavenly Father. John 8 and 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. So if you're not hearing from Yahweh Shai's mouth, which is coming from Yahweh, okay, then you are of the, your father the devil, which the majority of all people today are of the devil's, the devil's um, seed, man. They're in that spirit of Satan. Okay? And it says, He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. See? So all these things these people come with and they try to scoff and they come at us, they don't, they don't have the truth in them. They can't agree with us. They can't understand. They can't never tell the truth because it's not in them. 
It says, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And the so-called white man, Esau, he is the father of all lies, man. The scripture tells you that. As soon as they come forth, you know, um, they, 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 um, they come out speaking lies, you know, immediately. This is who they are. This is what, this is what they were, they were actually um, created to do and to be. They were supposed to be the wicked and the evil on this planet. But here is it, here it is, two thirds of all people are under that spirit of Satan. You know, particularly our woman. Because our woman being the woman being the weaker vessel is way more susceptible to sin, which is proven in the book of Genesis. And it tells you that clearly, you know, in, in, in Sirach as well, man, the wickedness of a woman. You know, and to, to, to her, um, sin's coming and we all die. So, Satan knows exactly why. It's just like, if you're going to go get a, a, a injection, okay? I'm not telling brothers to go get an injection. I'm just using this as, a, as an example. You know, what do they do? They hit you, they look to get, you know, the biggest vein. Okay, or if they're going to draw blood, they do, they, that's what they do. So, it's the same thing. If, if you're going to try to find, or if you're going to, if, if lions are hunting... You know, they look for what? They look for the weakest or the youngest, the calves or the, or, or the, or the ones that are, that are injured, that can't run. That's what they do. They pick. That's the same thing with, with Satan. He picked the woman to go to. The, the serpent went to her because she was the weaker vessel. It's just that's what it is. All right? But that the father of lies, man, is, is actually, you know, that the, um, the so-called white man and the, so and the Edomites. All right, John 8 and 45, and because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. And that's why these people don't believe us, man, because we tell them the truth, and it songs like madness to them. Because the world that they that, that their oppressor has created for them has, has given them a whole different view of things, you know? So they can't understand, they can't grasp what we're saying, Okay? So this is this is why, man, it's it's it's, it's very important to give praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for actually showing you and waking your mind up to this truth. And this is very precious. And it's already sign of spiritual power. Because you gotta consider we have been programmed by our oppressors from the minute that we get out of our, our mother's womb, man. The songs that they play pushes a certain vibration. Okay? The TV shows that they have us watch programs our minds the curriculum that they put us in through school that also is a programming mechanism then you, you you learn how to become a perfect slave to become a coon so for the lord for for of course some men come into this you know in their early teens or in their early 20s you know that's that, that that's at least a decade of programming so now for the lord to snap you out of that man that's a sign of spiritual power you know what i'm saying so all of this is what you give you give thanks unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai you said to water um um to the most high and to his son man you know um and I I, I pretty much kind of made the point that, that I wanted and um because when you go on you know pretty much you know they they once again they try to persecute Yahweh Shai because they you know once he when he spoke. It's like he's crazy or he has a devil or you know it's, it's the same thing man it's, and that's what they're going to come to us with and that's why all these these videos that brothers are making and going against the black woman she's gonna eventually come up with with some sort of highly demonic um movement to come against us as being crazy black men and hate women okay and they're going to try to come that's she's going to be the first one that's why the scriptures tell us that she, she is who is um, um who is my enemy man and that our enemies today are our women primarily so we got to watch out for it. all right and i get um another scripture that i had in mind because this is who we are here it says first thessalonians 5 and 4 but ye brethren ye are not in darkness that 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 day should overtake you as a thief because now that we're woken up and we understand the truth and we can discern the spirit, you know, we're awake to what's coming and we're awake to the prophecies that, you know, the Most High is going to revisit the earth, that the chariots are actually the the, um, the, the, the chariots of the Most High that's going to come to to bring destruction 
and also to save his elect out of here. Okay, we're not in doctrines. These things that are coming, you know, um, are, are not going to catch us. Because when you read up, it tells you, know, the Lord's going to come back a teeth in the night. You know, but we, you know, we got to pray and have faith, man. All right. It says, ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. No, we're not of the night and we're not of darkness. You know? Those people out here in the world, they are the children of the night and the children of darkness. All right? So, reading on 5 and 8, Salakia 5 and 6. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. And who's watching and being sober? Who's making videos every single every single other minute of the day? You know, who 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 is keeping abreast with with um all the news channels, both local and foreign? You know, and and then filtering what's going on in the in the in the in the world, with what's going on in the scriptures, and warning the people. Who's doing that? Okay. It says, it says, therefore let us not sleep as do others, let us watch and be sober. For they that are asleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate and faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. And that love and that, that faith is, is, is critical, man. And the love is, is of course, you know, scripture said, if you love me, keep my commandments. It's trying to keep the most highest commandments to the best of your ability while still in Babylon. Faith, doing the work, you know, praying constantly unto the most high. That's how you build your faith up. You do work you, you and, and you pray, you know, because you will need that for the hope of salvation. You're going to need that for the hope of salvation, man. Because at, if, if what, what, what would a man hope for if he knows he's going to be saved? Then you don't, you don't have to... You don't have to hope for anything. Okay? 5 and 9. For God had not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Masha, Yah. Alright? And this is why we have to know that name is important because the name is what's going to get us up out of here at the end of the day. That's the name we got to call on. Okay? And we, of the hopeful elect, pray that, you know, we always constantly, you know, exhort the word that the Lord doesn't take his spirit away from us. You know, that we have the ability to go out there and do the things that are pleasing unto Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. All right. And we give double honors to our elders and our apostles who the Lord use, you know, by giving them the Holy Spirit to show us certain things and, and open our minds even more, you know, to, to cultivate that gift, to, to, to refine us. Hence why we give double honors to our apostles and our elders. You know, we don't just do things because, you know, it, it, it sounds good, you know, but you got to mean these things when you, when you say it. And a lot of people, you know, they say things and um, they don't really understand. So you, and, and, and so you, that's why now when you say something, you got to, you know, think about it and then go back, probably read up some more on it and make sure that, you know, you know why. You know why these why these things are, are being uh, are being said. You know, and everything when you when you really sincere, you're gonna see it's really through the spirit. It's really really through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so I'll get that to close, and that's um First Timothy five and seventeen. It says, "Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine." All right, and that's that's. That's um that's other apostles and elders of Great Millstone. They are the only ones that really um labor in this word and this doctrine, you know. Like I said, it spoke as it spoke in um first John the fourth chapter, these false false prophets that are out there, they're not laboring, man. Okay? They're not showing true love to, to end fate. You know? They're not. You know, when, when shit happens, they disperse, you know, and then and then, then they come back. You know, and this is just from what, you know, from once again, that's why the Apostles and Elders do videos to, to show us, you know, examples of how to be, how not to be, what happens, give us examples of their experiences so that we can learn from it, and, you know, everything for edification, you know. So with that, man, I hope bros were edified, want to continuously, you know, um, pr um, it, it, Push brothers onto good works. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I love the word I was trying to say. Um, pretty much. Um, you know, 
um, exhort the word and, and, and constantly irritate brothers, man, to constantly, you know, push the word of the Lord, you know, that's what, that's, and I, I'll get that, I'll, I'll get that to, to end as, as, you know. Hope that gets in before my um computer dies. This is Hebrews ten and twenty four. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. All right. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to all apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and much love and salutations to all you Akim, true sincere brothers pushing this word in all sincerity and in truth. Shalom.